a warm welcome you all to gurudeva online classes dear students in our previous class we all discussed about the our first and second chapter in the geography they are our state karnataka and physiography divisions of karnataka right in today class we shall move to our another branch of social science that is sociology in the sociology our first chapter is family right before getting into the topic let's learn about the sociology the sociology this word derived from the latin word socius and greek suffix word logi socius means companion logi means to study of so what is the meaning of sociology means to study of society the sociology means to study of society it is known as the sociology and also to study of the way society is organized that is also known as the sociology and also to study of the human problems in the society it is also known as the sociology right and the august conte and august conte he is known as the father of sociology right in the sociology our first chapter is family right in this chapter you are going to learn about the the meaning of family the characteristics of family and the types of family and characteristics of joint family you know already the man is a sociopath the man is living in the society the man creates the various social institution to fulfill to fulfill his basic needs among these social institution the family is the most important the family is the most important social institution there are so many social institutions are there school temple office among these institution the family is the main social institution right and the family is the small institution the family is a small institution and the family is the basic institution of the society the family is the basic institution of the all the forms of social institution also it is the uh, basic unit of the uh, society also family and uh, all the activities of the society it is conducted based on the family so the family members the family members are the one of the part of the social institution also the who are the members of the family they also the members of the society they also the members of the social institution also right the family this word the derived from the latin word famulus the family this word derived from the latin word famulus the famulus means to suck to to sir by this we came to know about the ancient family in the ancient family the ancient family concept is like that the including other members the including other members parents it means fathers and mother and children this is the concept of the family in the ancient family the other members means uncle aunt siblings brothers sisters they are all including in a family that is the concept ancient family concept right but nowadays nowadays the family concept is like that only husband and wife children that is the concept of the family nowadays right the ancient family the, there is no there is no other members in nowadays family there is no other members in the nowadays family but in the ancient family concept is the including other members the including other members the husband wife children it is including the family but nowadays the family the, the family the, the concept of the family the other members are not the members of the family right and the relationship of the family the relationship of the family it is determined by the kinship the kinship means blood relation the relationship of the family it is determined by the kinship or blood relation the who, whoever have the blood relation they are all living in a same house they are all living in a house that is the concept of the family right but the, the relationship of the, the relationship of the family it is determined by the kinship and also it includes marriage you know already the after the man marriage the uh, his wife comes that house his wife comes that house she is also one of the part of his family 
one of the part of this family but she didn't have the blood relation she didn't have the blood relation but that but also she is also one of the part of their family and kinship the, those who are have the blood relations they are all living in a uh, same house they are all living in a one family and adoption adoption the those who are have the children or baby they adopt some children they adopt some children they adopted some children they are also the one of the part of the family they also didn't have the blood relation but they are also living in a family right the the relationship of the family determined the kinship including marriage kinship and also the adoption and all the family members they all under they all live under the same family they all comes under the same family uh, husband and wife parents children siblings right and also grandparents and uh, grandparents they are all living in a in, in a house and also they are all living under a roof also right and the uh, the family the family's main role is the family's main role is to create culture the family's main role is to create culture in the family right and what is the meaning of family means the living together the living together of husband and wife the living together of husband and wife with the children or without the children it is known as the family it is known as the family the living together of husband and wife with the children or without children they live long they live long they live long for a long time they live long for a long time that is known as the family right the living together of husband and wife with children or without children for a long time is known as the family and the family it includes they includes the nourishing children procreation and uh, to make them as a socialization they are all the part of the family they are all the part they are all the functions of the family then we need to understand the characteristics of the family then only we can understand the clear meaning of the family right let's learn about the characteristics of family right yes next one is the characteristics of family by understanding the characteristics of family then only we understand the importance of family also the characteristics of a family there also the importance of family also the first one is the family is a universe the specific geographic nature time and also the period the all the members all the families it is found in a society the all the families it is found in society without society there is no family because the family it is in the society the family regularly or continuously it means one generation to another generation the family fixed a pattern they are marriage nourishing a baby kinship and property right they all they all fixed a pattern they usually they are all fixed a pattern they are the marriage marriage is also one of the part of the family and the nourishing the baby marriage nourishing and kinship blood relation siblings uh, siblings in the blood uh, relations they are also living in a same family and property right they have the right of the property right they are all the usual usual patterns they are all follows one generation to another generation the all the members of the family they are all living under a same place and also they are also they are living under a same roof also right that's why the family is a universe family is a universe because the family it is found in the society without the the family is not family is not out in the society because family it is in the society right that's why the family is a universe and second characteristics or importance is it is the basic unit for all social activities the family is a basic unit for all social activities okay uh, the you know already the family the all the social activities conducted based on the family because the family is the basic unit for all social activities every activities of the social institution the every activities you take every activities in the social institution they all comes under the control of the family they all comes under the family because they are all the all the social activities they are starts in family they are all starts in family that's why the every activities of the social institution they starts from 
family either political activities economical activities or educational activities all the activities of the all the social activities they are all starts from the family that's why the family it is the basic unit for all social activities right the family is the basic unit for all the activities but during the ancient times the family member the, during the ancient times the family it sent the family members in the local community or society but nowadays nowadays the family it is not sent their family members in the local community in the society because of the because of the the complexity the complexity of the people they cannot send their family members in the society right and also the all the activities all the functions of the, the family they assigned by assigned from the the various social institution right that's why uh, in nowadays in nowadays uh, the family the because of the incomplexity because of the incomplexity of in the society they cannot send their family members in the society but the all the activities of the society all the activities of the society it is start from the family right and third one is the continuous continuous responsibility and the social accountability the family it has the, all the family members of the family they have their own responsibility you know right? the family the family it teaches its members those are who are those who are living in a family the family it teaches its member its grandparents its parents it their teachers is children is siblings their teachers is children that it teaches its member how to behave and how to discharge the responsibility how to behave and how to discharge from the responsibility how we give the respect to the elders how can we give the respect to the uh, peer group then that one also we can learn from the family that the family it teaches the sons and childhood uh, uh, how to give give respect to the grandparents how to give respect to the peer ones how to give the respect to the neighbors that one we can learn through the family right and family it trains us the children and adolescents how to live how to live harmoniously with neighbors the how to live harmoniously with neighbors and family it educates the social responsibilities the family educate the social responsibility uh, social responsibility for example how to keep our drinking water clean how to keep our surrounding clean how to keep our drainage system clean these are all the social activities you know na the family it teaches the family it educate the children or adolescents the the responsibilities how to keep the surrounding clean how to keep our uh, drinking water clean how to keep our uh, family clean, how to keep our uh, house clean these are all the responsibility of a people right that one we can learn in the family right and the next one is the bringing up and the nourishing or nurture the bringing up and nourishing right and uh, the family creates the basic rights and the responsibilities the family creates the basic Uh, uh, creates the basic rights and responsibility. The bringing up and nourishing. The after the marriage, they got uh, after the marriage they get a baby. How to nourishing the baby? How to bring them? How to educate them? How to uh, how to make the responsibility citizen of the country? They all learn from the family, right? The family is bringing up and nourishing the children, right? The, the family is bringing up the children and nourishing the children. right and the next one is if the family teaches social behavior the family is a teacher social behavior right and the childhood and adolescence they are the main stage of the process of socialization in the socialization how to behave with elders how to give respect to the elders how to give, give respect to the peer group uh, the, the in the family that they learn mother tongue in the family they learn more is mother tongue in the family and uh, through this mother tongue they understand the social life through his mother tongue through his mother tongue the children and adolescents uh, they understand the mother uh, understand the social life the children and adolescents they learn the behaviors like friendship freedom and security these are all the things uh, we can learn from the family that's why the family is a teacher's social behavior and the last one is the last characteristics of family is it instruct the tradition the family instruct the tradition you know already the family it consists of several generation 
you know already the, the, the generation is according to the kinship you know already the according to the kinship the grandparents parents children and grandchildren they are all living in a family right and the grandparents they are comes in the first generation and parents they comes in second generation and children they comes in third generation right and uh, the grandparents the including grandparents parents and children the including grandparents parents and children they are the third generation father mother and children the father mother and children they are comes in the second generation and the grandparents parents children and grandchildren grandparents parents grandchildren and children and grandchildren these are all called as the extended family this family is called as the extended family grandparents parents children and grandchildren those who are living in a same house are same roof same are living under a same roof they are all called as the extended family right these are the main characteristics or importance of family the first one is family is a universe second is it is the basic unit for all social activities and the third one is the family continuous responsibilities and social accountability and the fourth one is is bringing up the nourishing and the, the, the fifth one is teachers is uh, the family teachers social behavior and sixth one is later instruct the tradition tradition means one generation to another generation we can learn the uh, culture we can learn the culture right one generation to another generation right uh, this is the concept of the it instruct the tradition these are all the these are all the characteristics of family right dear friends i hope you all understood the lesson in next class we will meet with the types of family right thank you thank you very much